Hey y'all. Okay, so I don't know if y'all have heard about Juanisha Smith, but this has really just got me just speechless. I mean, I am at, I, I really just, I'm at a loss for words. Um, it's so sad. And not just is it sad, it's just, I mean, this lady is really, I don't know what's wrong with her. Um, from what I understand, you know, you know, this is something that was unexpected, um, of her, you know, nobody suspected anything was wrong with the baby. Um, her baby was found in her apartment dead. Um, the child had been there for months Okay, they don't know. The police have not said how long. Um, but on Facebook, like friends and stuff like that, they're saying that they haven't seen the child in months. For the last few couple months or whatever, I don't know how many months, but we know it's at least two. Okay, so this is June. We're talking about at least since April. All right, it could have been longer. I don't know. Um, I have not found a timeline, but all I saw was months, okay? So, like I said, I mean, we know it's more than one. It's at least two. So, we're, we're looking at the baby's been dead at least since April. But neighbors, um, you know, or someone called the police and they wanted to do a well check over there because they said they haven't seen her in a while, and also, there was like a bad smell coming from the apartment. So, when the fire department went in, they found the baby. Um, they didn't say how old the baby was, but from what I understand, I believe the child is like maybe one. Um, and that, you know, this information is just things that I'm getting off of Facebook. Uh, people that, you know, were close to her. So... It's just sad. She does have other children. Apparently, they don't live with her. They live with their fathers. Um, you know, it's just, it's, I, I just don't get it. And I'm about to show y'all her Facebook and stuff, the things that she's been doing all this time while her child has been in the house dead. Um, you know, it just it makes you wonder, I mean, really, what is, what's going through this woman's mind? You know, um... It just makes no sense. You know, I, I just don't get it. They caught her. When they arrested her, they caught her. She was shopping. She was shopping with a friend. And I don't know. Someone said that they think that her friend um, called or something, you know, and told them where they were, where she was or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. So don't quote me on that. But, um... You know, that's what was stated. So, I don't know who or how, but apparently she was shopping. So, it's the thing is, she's she's killed her baby, and now she's just out here just living her life like she hasn't done anything wrong. That's why no one suspected anything. Every time they would ask about her child or her, you know, whatever, she would always say, oh, he's with his grandmother, with her mom. She would always say that the baby was with her mom, but the whole time the child was inside of the house, dead. And Juanisha Smith, the mother, would actually go to the house. She would have her friend and stuff take her to the house to get clothes for the baby. Knowing the whole time the baby was dead inside of that house. They said she would go in, get clothes, and just come back out like like nothing was wrong. You know? This is this is crazy. So I'm just going to show y'all this article real quick. And then I'm going to go to her Facebook. It says, Firefighters found a child dead inside an apartment and police arrested that child's mother after receiving a call of a bad smell coming from an apartment Tuesday afternoon. Officers responded to an apartment complex in the 1800 block of James H. McGee Boulevard around 2 p.m. after receiving a call from a neighbor who had concerns about a bad smell coming from one of the residences. 
Police arrested the child's mother, Juanisha Smith, 33, at a house in the 1300 block of Amanda Drive in Trotwood around 6.30 p.m. Prosecutors approved a single count of involuntary manslaughter and child endangering after meeting with police Thursday. She had initially been booked on a murder charge. However, that charge was not approved by prosecutors. I think there's someone over there that's deceased, the caller told dispatchers. Dayton police told Dayton police said once they arrived at the apartment, they also requested the Dayton Fire Department to help. Out of a concern for the safety and well-being of anyone inside, the Dayton Fire Department was requested to the scene and assisted with entering the apartment, said Dayton Police Lieutenant Hall, Jason Hall. Firefighters located the remains of a small child who had been clearly been deceased for some time. A call out was then made for detectives from the both the Dayton Police Department Special Victims Unit and Homicide Unit. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office was unable to release the age and the name of the child. However, a Dayton Police report shows a child approximately a year old was involved. An autopsy will determine how long the child had been dead and how they died. Several citizens helped lead police to Smith. Smith does have other children, none of which police say live with her. Officers said those children are safe. You know, it just... You know, I mean, this is a... Another strange story, you know? It just... I mean, where's the family? You know, that's what's sad. That's what's sad in cases like this. You know... I mean, I, I'm in a town where I live alone. I don't have any family around me. My closest family is four hours away. And then the rest of my family is like six hours away, you know, or seven hours. But it's just, it's like, you know, I mean, if things seemed, I mean, even if, something were to happen with one of my kids and I didn't say anything to them about it or whatever, they would know that something's off. They would still be able to tell, you know, and I just don't understand how you got to understand if this woman is going and getting clothes, having her friend take her to her house to get clothes for the baby to take to the mom's house. So the mom has to live close by. You know, she's got to live somewhere in town, somewhere near. So it just makes me wonder, if you live that close to your family, they don't see anything strange with not seeing the baby for months. You know, most grandparents want to see the grandkids or get the grandchild. Or what about the dad? Where is he at? Where? What about his side of the family? You know, it's a lot of questions that need to be answered. You know, I just don't understand how people don't notice that a child is missing here or why wasn't a call made earlier? You know, so many people just don't want to do something because they don't want to feel like they're in somebody's business or they don't want to cause a problem. But you got to understand that things like this happen too often. And, you know, not that it... I mean, it could have maybe been prevented. I'm not saying that. But the thing is, this child could have made, could have been found earlier. She could have been locked up rather than being home, shopping, riding out, living your life, drinking, and all this stuff that you've been doing, okay? And living like you like you don't have a, a child who is dead in your apartment that you obviously did something to you know and even if she didn't do something if she didn't do something to the child why didn't she call the police why wouldn't you have reported that you know guilty okay so we're gonna go to her facebook but first off i just want to show y'all a couple things okay now, this is her Facebook page, okay? She has two Facebook pages, all right? 
the one that you want to go to, the one that is active, that she uses, okay, or used recently, is Nisha Baby. Okay, and under it's going to say Amazing Chocolate. That's the one that's active. The one that that's old, you'll see is like the last thing that was posted, I think it was like in 2017. That one is Juanisha Smith, So Damn Chocolate. Okay, so that one... Don't go to that one. That one's useless. All right. So then, I just want to show y'all this real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to show y'all what she's been doing this whole time. All right. Making TikTok videos. Just out here, just acting like you don't have a child. Probably close to you inside of this apartment. I'm assuming that's where she was at in her apartment. I don't know. But it doesn't matter where she is. She has not acted like her child, like something happened to her kid. Not sad, not upset. That's the thing. Not showing any signs, obviously. Her friends, people she's around would have noticed something. They didn't notice nothing. The only thing they noticed was that the baby wasn't around. And she always kept saying that he's with the grandma. You know. Okay, now this is... um. This is the baby's godmother, okay? She posted this, all right? Um, you know, and she was one, you know, who had been asking about the baby, okay? So, don't anybody go trolling this lady's page, okay? Um, you know, because she was concerned. She was very concerned, and she's very upset. If anything, go, sit, you know, show your condolences for her loss um, because she's really upset right now. Okay, her post says, how could you say you can't judge when she been new for months? This baby was in the house dead. She was going home to get clothes and walking right back out like he wasn't in there dead. Lying, saying he's at her mom's house. This is some sick ass shit. I cannot stomach this man. Like Juanisha Smith, damn baby, I just really want to talk to you, man, because you're not right and you're not in your right state of mind right now. You can't be. Okay, and then somebody else, damn, Anisha, that mugshot hurt me. This shit sad, sis. We kick it every day, damn near. I don't know what honestly happened, so I can't speak on it for real, but your child, though. I still love you, still my sister. That's wild, though. I can't respect that. You know, so people, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to understand, these people are shocked, okay? They, they had no clue. Probably that she was even capable of even doing anything like this. You know? I mean, it's just... This is sad. This is real, real sad. You know, just terrible. And it's just sick how she could just go on with her life. Like, nothing's going on. Okay. All right, I can't even hardly see this. I don't know why it's so... Oh, because I had to zoom all the way in. All right. Okay, so this says, Juanisha Smith, I'm going to just say this. You are foul, whatever. Or no. Oh, you are foul whether you killed this baby or not. You still played a part because... When people would ask about him, you never kept it 100. You always said he's with my mom because he has autism and she can handle him better. And to find out that innocent baby been in your place dead for months with mice feasting off of him is simply unjustifiable. I wasn't... Let's see if I... I'm sorry, y'all. It's hard for me to see this right here. If I wasn't blame the people around her oh i wasn't blaming the people around her but i'll definitely say something about a woman that never has her any of her kids shouldn't shouldn't sit right this is truly heartbreaking and i really pray for the families affected by this until they heal and get justice you know that's so sad 
you know, and, and that's, I mean, that is really true. Okay, if you know someone has children and they never have their kids, that says a lot about them, okay? You know, and that goes for you people that want to be in relationships and everything like that. You got to understand, especially a female, okay, a male and female, you know, you, you should want them to be a good parent. If you got a friend and she'll never have her child, that should tell you something about her, especially if the child's got autism. She's talking about the child got autism and her mom can handle the child better than her. Well, that your mom isn't his mother. The mother, the grandma shouldn't have to um have that responsibility, you know? That's when you start cutting your ties and finding better friends, okay? But that's not their fault. That was still, they were still being a friend, has nothing to do with them. But I'm just giving people advice. You know, you see things like this, just separate yourself. Because you know what? This lady right here is obviously, she's obviously crazy. You know, something ain't right. Something ain't right at all. Alright, so I just want to show y'all real quick. Hold on, just. Okay. Alright, let me just show y'all. Real quick, okay, this is her Facebook. I don't know what is going on. I'm sorry, y'all. Just bear with me for a minute. For some reason, it's um not doing anything. Okay. So, y'all, this is her Facebook, all right? Now, look, like I said, the whole time, this baby has been dead. She has been in her house or wherever she's at. Okay, like I said, it don't even matter where she's at. It's, it makes it worse, obviously, if she's at home with the baby. But the whole time that this poor little innocent little baby has been in the house, deceased, she's been in here making TikTok videos like nothing ain't going on. Okay. Says so she works at Hooters. You know, it just... Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what was going on with my computer. Okay, but like I was saying, she's just been in the house or wherever making TikToks like nothing ain't going on. Okay. I mean, oh, hold on. I didn't want to turn that on. I mean, I'm, I'm just... I'm I'm just appalled right now. This was June first. No signs of being upset. No signs of being stressed. No signs of nothing. Okay. Is this thing? Me when I see this be in the club and she thinks she's sweet. Okay, I guess that's how they gonna be seeing her in jail. I mean, for real, y'all. Come on now. I know y'all see that. I just don't get it. This is May. May. You know, the whole time, now her little baby has been deceased, has been just sitting in the house. And all of that, you know, and that last um thing, it just, oh, you know, I, I, I don't even want to talk. It, it's sad. It's, it's sick. To even just the dude said, or whoever it was, I don't know what it was, man, woman, whoever posted that, that mice had been eating on the baby, you know. 
I mean, that's just, God, that's just so sad. I mean, I, this is what I'm saying, like, this lady right here, most people, and I mean, we see this all the time, people who have, you know, killed their families and their, or their child or whoever, and, you know, they might seem a little off, you know, but nobody knows what's going on, but then they'll, they'll look back and be like, oh, well, yes, you know, she was sad or... Yeah, she seemed a little distracted, or she seemed a little upset, but I didn't know why. You know, it's always some signs. This lady right here, nothing. I mean, look at this. Does this look like a woman who is upset, who looks stressed or scared about getting caught because she has a baby in her house? And that's, and that's, it just makes me wonder, is she in that house? I mean, I would assume so. Just because that's her apartment. You know, why wouldn't she be there? They did say that they haven't seen her in a little while, but that could have been a week. Maybe they hadn't seen her in a week. You know, maybe they noticed the smell. And they said, well, we haven't seen her. Let's call and get a, a well check. Because they smelled something. That's what prompted the person to make the call was the smell. Not because they haven't seen her. So, it's just, okay, let's see, this is April 22nd, all right, so we're at, today's June 11th, you know, like, even right here, we're still in that two-month time frame, it could have been before, it could have been after, who knows, and it doesn't matter, the thing is, it's still around a time frame of it being months and she doesn't look like she's upset she don't look like she's so stressed about to hurt somebody about to hurt her baby and do all this craziness or like she had just done something i mean for real i'm bored how are you bored She can sit around here and play around on TikTok and laugh and smile and kiki and dance around and do all this nonsense. It just... Oh, God. I mean, this is so, so heartbreaking. So sad. You know, I'll definitely be keeping y'all updated um, on this because it's just, it's something, something ain't right. You know, that's what makes me want to just, I just want to know where was the family? That's what I just don't get. That's what I'm just trying to figure out. Not saying that the family had anything to do with it. Not, I'm not saying that. It just... I just don't understand how months go by and you're around. You're obviously somewhere around for people to believe that the child's with the grandma. So you got to be, that means you got to be close to the, the, your mom, you know, for them to think that. And it just, it just makes me wonder, you know, how people go all this time without seeing their grandkids or not noticing something or, or even your child. I mean, isn't it strange if you live in the same area as your your adult child? I mean, wouldn't you still see them within the last months? And if they don't have the baby, anytime you see them, I mean, it just seems weird. It just To me, it seems strange. Maybe it's not, but I don't know. To me, that just seems off. You know, I would be wanting to know where my grandchild is or... If I hadn't seen my kid in months, I would think something's off. You know, it just wouldn't make any sense. 
Wow. Okay, she did this November. I mean, um, I'm sorry, December of 2019, getting my mug shots together. Because I'm going to kill this in. Okay. So. Hmm. I see a lot of people that share this. We're tearing this lady up on her Facebook. You know. Mm -mm -mm. But. See I'm sure just like her. Um, the other people. The other lady that killed her little boy. Little two year old boy. Frankie Gonzalez. His mom. You got the police. Look at all the people. She's, this lady right here probably ain't no different. She's probably being um protected. In the jail. They probably got her in a separate cell. So she can't get hurt. It's just sad. That little baby did not deserve that. That's so sad. And it's even what makes it even worse is if he was autistic. You know, and I say that because, you know, I don't know what type of mental capacity he had. You know, and it's just, it's sad because he might not have even been able to know beforehand, you know, something was about to happen to him. It's just heartbreaking. It's just so, so sad. So, y'all, um, I just wanted to show this to y'all. And like I said, I will be following this case as it gets, as it develops more. Um, leave your comments and feedback below. If y'all would like to send me anything, you can do so in my email. Or you can add me on Facebook and send it to me through there. If um, all of my links are down below under the video. And if y'all have not subscribed to my other channel, please click on the link down below. Subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till the next time I talk to y'all, have a good night. God bless y'all and I love y'all. Stay safe.